The first computer that resembles the machines we use today was invented back in the 19th century. It already seems much earlier than you probably thought, but there was an even older prototype. The Antikythera mechanism was invented by the Greeks over 2,000 years ago. Over a century after its discovery, scientists might have finally solved its mystery. Sponge divers accidentally found the Antikythera mechanism on the bottom of the sea of the Greek island of Antikythera at the very beginning of the 20th century. It was one of the many ancient treasures from the shipwreck of a Greek trading ship that probably set sail around the year 60 before the Common Era. There were marble statues and jewelry, beautiful glass bowls, rich furniture, and one mysterious device. It had a case made of a corroded clump of metal and was the size of a large dictionary. The sponge divers didn't know what to do with it and took this strange item to the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. Months later, the lump broke apart and it turned out that a real architectural gem was hiding inside. It had at least 30 gears and there were traces of many more that hadn't survived. The mechanism was just sitting there for 50 years before historians finally decided it was worth their attention. The big brains who worked with it thought it was a super complex astronomical calculation machine from over 2,000 years ago. They couldn't believe it could have been made in ancient Greece or anywhere else in the ancient world. The tech behind the gadget was centuries ahead of its time. Over the decades, different scientists have been trying to solve the mysteries of this super advanced device. They've used x-rays, CT scans, and all sorts of fancy tools. They thought it could have been a navigation device, or even some kind of time travel contraption. Some of them even believed it wasn't from our planet. In 2021, a team of scientists presented a computational model that showed how this unique contraption might have worked. According to them, it was like a tiny ancient supercomputer, covered in Greek inscriptions with some astronomical secrets hiding in them. The Greeks probably used it for tracking the positions of the sun, the moon, and lunar phases with a half-silvered ball. The way the moon moves in the sky is really tricky to copy. To do it, whoever created the mechanism used a very clever system with special gears and a slot and pin mechanism. These gears, called epicyclic gears, work together in a complex way. The slot and pin help to make tiny changes in the moon's movement. If you flipped over the mechanism, you'd see some groovy dials, including one with a spiral slot that tracked lunar months. They were used to keep those calendars in check. There was also another dial that predicted solar and lunar eclipses, like some cosmic fortune teller. Depending on which display you were looking at, you could see all of these different functions, so it was pretty much like an ancient tablet. The main theory is that the mechanism was made in a workshop on the island of Rhodes. It could have been a fancy order for a rich customer from northern Greece, and that's how it could have ended on the trading ship. Some people think that the device was the creation of the legendary mathematician and inventor Archimedes himself. But he had lived a couple of centuries before this particular Antikythera mechanism was created. So he could have invented the concept but couldn't have created this very device. He might have started with a simpler version and then refined it over time, using the latest knowledge of astronomy. Because the Antikythera mechanism is the only physical remnant of many mechanical astronomical displays from the past, we have nothing to compare it with. It might not let its users travel back and forth in time, but it sure could predict astronomical events in the future. The ancient Greeks didn't create it to do work. They were trying to model the skies. It doesn't look like they needed it for navigation, so another theory is that they could use it to create horoscopes. But then again, it was way too complicated for such an entertaining purpose. It sounds more like it was some kind of a philosophical and educational tool. It had in one place all of their knowledge of the universe and how it works that was available at its time. The inscriptions on the mechanism weren't some instructions for experts. They were made for everyone to easily understand them. The latest news about the Antikythera mechanism is that scientists from the University of Glasgow used some special math methods on it. 
They wanted it to figure out how many holes were in one of its broken rings. They found new proof that one part of the Antikythera mechanism was probably used to keep track of the Greek lunar year. In a new paper they published, the scientists shared that they found that the ring probably had 354 holes. This new research was sort of inspired by a YouTuber who collected data on the mechanism. He was trying to make a copy of the calendar ring and was looking for ways to figure out how many holes it had. To solve this mystery, co-authors of the new study used a special math method called Bayesian analysis. This method uses probability to figure out uncertain things based on incomplete information. They looked at the positions of the holes that were still there and the placement of the six surviving pieces of the ring to calculate the likely number of missing holes. Now, they're more sure than ever that the ring had either 354 or 355 holes, not 360 holes, which some earlier studies had suggested. The second co-author of the study used the same techniques that normally analyze the signals from the gravitational wave detectors. These detectors measure tiny ripples in space-time caused by massive events like black holes colliding. The results were really detailed and showed the same number of holes as the mathematical method. The holes were placed with amazing accuracy, with only a tiny average difference of 28 thousandths of a millimeter between each hole. Professors behind the study were really impressed with this as the ancient Greeks had to measure very accurately and have a very steady hand to punch the holes so precisely. So, it looks like the previous studies that had suggested the gadget used to track the lunar calendar must have been correct. No matter what it really was, the mechanism changed our understanding of how advanced the ancient Greeks were. We knew they had built the Parthenon and the Lighthouse of Alexandria even earlier than they created the device, but this one takes them to a whole new progress level. Some things are still not clear about it like why it took so long for scientists to catch up and invent something as sophisticated as this ancient marvel. Perhaps there's still some gaps in the historical record. Another question is why we haven't found more of the same unique advanced mechanisms. This could have a practical explanation, as bronze was a precious material back in the day of the mechanism. So, when one contraption stopped working, people probably melted it down for its valuable materials to reuse them. Or maybe there are more ancient computers hiding at the bottom of the ocean, and we have yet to discover them. Most researchers have agreed with the results of the new study, but there is one who doesn't. Mechanical engineer Tony Freeth, who is an expert on the ancient computer, believes the conclusion of the study is just wrong. He claims the gadget already has one lunar calendar that is more precise than this one. Looks like, although we are one step closer to solving the Antikythera mechanism mystery, the hunt for the truth is still far from being over. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.